What's up you guys, Garrett here. And today I woke up, thought I'd go over to my computer, do some more research on the current stimulus updates and what's going on in the stimulus world. And I came across an article that stated two men have been charged for scamming the small business loans program. So pretty much what they did is they've taken advantage of the current PPP program. The PPP program is part of the big stimulus package that was meant to help fund small businesses and help aid them with paying their employees and helping just their overall business in general. These two men have become the first people charged in the United States with fraudulently applying for aid from a federal program designed to help small businesses deal with the financial fallout from the current pandemic. Basically what they're saying these guys did is the two men applied for a combined more than $500,000 in assistance from the new CARES Act payroll protection program. They claim they had employees earning wages at five different business entities when in fact there was actually no employees at all so they actually don't employ anyone but they applied for over five different businesses claiming that they employed all these different people when in fact they don't employ anyone I mean who would have thought this would happen there was tons of YouTube videos going out there claiming get your free ten thousand dollar checks if you're a business owner out there um, and you just have a business they're giving out a free ten thousand go and claim your money now I'm not saying that's what these guys were actually doing but they have been charged in a federal criminal complaint with conspiracy to make false statements to influence the small business business administration and conspiracy to commit fraud. So if these guys are getting charged by the federal government with conspiracy, they are not going to win. They have no chance they're going down for this. Not sure how much jail time they're going to do, but there, there's no way these are the only guys who are trying to pull off this scam. I mean, there has to be thousands of business owners out there, you know, applying to get this money from the PPP package when in fact they don't really have any way to allocate the money to employees, to business expenses, or however you have to actually allocate because there's restrictions on these loans. You can't just go apply for the loan just because you want it. You actually have to have a purpose like paying employees, which is what these guys claim. They claim they had five businesses employing dozens of employees, but they had none of that. They just wrote down their application to get the money over $500,000. Um, they got it, but now it looks like they're gonna be getting some jail time. But if you guys thought that was the only scam being pulled at the current moment, you were wrong because these scammers know there's opportunity out there and they're going after every single dollar possible. The Federal Trade Commission has reported more than $13 million in fraud loss due to the virus and expect that to significantly increase due to the amount of scams being ran. And since the IRS has started sending these payments out, this actually leaves a big wide open opportunity for scammers who are looking to take advantage. So not only are people trying to scam the payment protection program, which getting these business loans, so they're going after large amounts of money, they're not only doing that, but they're trying to go after individual Americans to try to defraud them of the $1,200 stimulus check that a lot of people haven't even received yet. So part of my reason for making this video is I wanted to keep you guys aware and kind of cautious of some of these scams going on. I don't want you guys falling for it. I mean, these are kind of common sense scams, but there are people who don't know better and they actually fall for things like this. So some of the current scams are people are getting emails claiming to be the IRS and are attempting to acquire your personal information. Some of these emails are asking, hey, have you not submitted your information yet to the IRS website? They're trying to acquire you to just send them over your information through email. There's also been emails going out claiming that the IRS may have overpaid you or underpaid you and asking for your banking information so they can either you know, direct deposit those funds that they owe you or get their money back that they overpaid you for. But I mean, seriously, it's the IRS. The IRS doesn't overpay people. So those are pretty much the kind of basic scams going on. I'm sure there's many more. I'm sure there's people getting phone calls claiming the same thing. So if you're getting any type of weird kind of email or phone call, of the people claiming to be the IRS asking for any type of personal information, do not give out anything. I mean, it's common sense, but again, some people don't know better. People are in a time of need, and I think these scammers know that people are kind of fearful and they're just kind of trying to do whatever they can to get the money, which is totally disgusting. But again, this is the world and there are some crappy people in the world. So the IRS has come out and stated for those people who have not filed tax returns and have not gone to their website to update their information, that you need to do so as soon as possible. The reason they want you to do this is because they don't want the scammers or the fraudulent people to actually go on their website and alter or divert your payment. So again, they don't want someone going in, entering your name, information, maybe changing bank information to a different bank account, maybe address to receive a check. They don't want these scammers going in and pretty much 
committing identity theft on your behalf and kind of curving the path of where your check is supposed to get sent to. So again, if you haven't done so, go get all your information updated on the IRS website just so you're more protected. What is your guys' thoughts on all of this? I mean, have you guys received any suspicious emails? Have you gotten any phone calls, people claiming to be the IRS? Let me know down below because I'm actually pretty curious to see how many people have actually fell victim to these type of scams. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Just wanted to inform you on the current scams that are being pulled out there so you guys don't fall victim to some of these stupid people out there going around and scamming. I hope all of you guys are staying safe out there. And if you're new to the channel and wanna stay up to date on all the current stimulus information, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We also talk about finance, business, e-commerce here on my channel. I'd love to have you as a part of the family. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you gained any value from this video, please be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube YouTube algorithm. It really helps my videos get pushed out to more people so more people can actually see it. Wishing you all the best and I'll see you guys on the next video.